Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another continuation in my liquid lipstick review series. I was going to just stick to Halloween tutorials right now, but um, I believe you need to say her name, Thylita, sorry if I mispronounced it, and Ronnie, two of my viewers, asked me if I could get to this bourgeois review up ASAP for them. So I'm gonna do that today and I'll just, I'll just work on some of my prep for the Halloween. Ugh, something on my shirt. But today's brand that's up for review is these Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvets. Um, this is a brand that is not available in the U.S. To the best of my knowledge, I had to order this off of ASOS. I will link below. Um, this is a brand that is in Europe and Australia, I believe, and I think it's in Canada as well. So I have swatches on the back of my hand, and in all honesty, I'm not having high hopes that this is going to be long lasting because it's smeared all over. Like, I just went to lay down on my bed to pet the cat that was in there and I got this all over my cream colored sheets. So <laughs> I probably should have been paying attention. Just like always guys, I exfoliated my lips with my Eva Anderson lip scrub and then to moisturize I went on with my Kaplan MD Lip 20 Balm and now I'm just going to wipe off the excess. My allergies are going insane. On my lips I'm going to use Max Talking Points. I feel like it's a pretty good dupe for this. This is gonna be a first impressions of this for me because I've just swatched it on my hand. I haven't put it on my lips. So let me zoom in for application. It has this really short little packaging on it and this short little wand. Ugh. This, this smells like what I'd imagine Barbie's ass to smell like. Plastic butt. That's, this smells gross. Ugh. Not good at all. Making me not even wanna put this on my lips, but okay. <laughs> It's already going on streaky. It's not super easy to get it opaque. Okay, I think I got it on. This is a really weird formula. I'm gonna go back through with my lip liner to try to crisp it up. It could be wrong, but this doesn't feel like it's gonna dry down. This did go on streaky and very kind of weird. It's like slippery. I don't, I don't know if that makes sense. There it is. Just like all my reviews, guys, I'm going to give this a total of eight hours worth of wear untouched. I will not apply a gloss. I will not retouch this. I'll do my first check-in in four hours and the last check-in in the additional four hours. In my first check-in, I always give you guys all the details of the product. It's a pretty color. It says it's a, a matte finish. Oh, and I'm sorry, this is in the shade Pink Pong, if I didn't say it, the 06 Pink Pong. So it's currently 11.48, I will see you guys in four hours. Hey guys, so it's 3.52, it's a little more than four hours after application. These finally did dry down. Um, it did take a little longer than most liquid lipsticks I've put on. I didn't think they were going to, I thought they would keep sliding around but they have dried. I'm gonna zoom in to show you the wear. So just like most of the time in my first check-in, I already ate breakfast and I normally work through my lunch, so I haven't eaten anything yet. Um, I have been drinking my chai tea. These are very, they're still kind of tacky, so I don't wanna touch them yet because I don't wanna disturb the wear. Um, it's not really on my straw, but I can feel on the inside here, it looks like it's kind of starting to crumble just a little. You'll see when I zoom in. Just right in here. These are a very weird formula. They remind me of, it almost looks like it's stained my skin. Like it doesn't even look like I have a lipstick on top. It almost just looks like that's the color of my lips. I don't like the tacky f feeling of these. So let's give you guys some rundown on these. These are made in France. They're available in 15 shades per the Bourjois website. Um, but I ordered mine on ASOS, which I'll link below. And ASOS only has it available in 12 shades. 
I bought mine, they were on sale for $16 plus $4 shipping. I got this for $20. It ships internationally, so it did take some time. I ordered this on $8.25 and that's when I was billed for it, but I don't, I can't really tell you when I got it because since it ships internationally, they don't provide tracking, so I don't know when it shipped and I can't really remember when I got it. I do know it was probably like two weeks, I think though. I don't take PayPal, I had to put in my card information, which I'm not a huge fan of. It's it says on ASO's website that they do free worldwide shipping, but that must be over a certain purchase um, because I did have to pay $4 for mine. You are getting 0.2 fluid ounces, which is um, double what you get with Anastasia, and it's a, on par with what you get with a lot of the indie brands I've been showing you. Uh, it has a 12 month expiration on here from when you open it. I'm gonna read you guys what's off of their website. This claims that this is a matte finish, incredibly light. It says it's soft, melting texture, glides onto the lips and turns into a matte, velvety, and incredibly light color. Lips are left smooth and soft as velvet, enriched with oils, blah, blah, blah. It says it's meant to go on without drying or fading the lips. It says the texture of this lipstick is undetectable after application. It's saying bold color with a matte finish. So I actually didn't even read that until right now, but I will tell you that it is almost undetectable in the in the way that I don't have like a border of cream or anything like that. It did go on streaky, but I don't see any really now and there's no patchiness to this. It's an odd feeling. They're tacky but dry. And feel this inner part already starting to kind of like, feels like it's gonna peel forward, we'll see. Currently they are um, on the ASOS website for $16.12, so basically uh, when they were on sale I only saved 12 cents. These do have a wide range of everyday colors. Um, they don't have anything like funky blues or bright purples or anything like that. The scent of these is really off-putting though. Yeah, I, I don't know, I don't like it. It has dissipated now though, like I can't smell it, but if you guys are interested in the US and purchasing these, you are going to have to go through, um, I'm always wary buying makeup on Amazon because it could be knockoff. So um, I would recommend ordering off of ASOS or a website like that that ships internationally. Besides the inside rim of these to me, they've remained comfortable to wear. Like always too, at the end of this, I will do the kiss test to show if they're transfer proof and I will also fill them in to see um, if they've worn away anywhere, if they layer well. So um, by my next check-in, I will have eaten some dinner and maybe some snacks. So I will see you guys in another four hours. Hey guys, so it's 724, eight hours after I first put this on. So I'm gonna zoom in to show you the wear. Um, right on the inside rim here, it's gotten a little lighter and it is starting to peel. I could tell this middle part was going to peel af after my first check-in or actually even during because I don't know how to describe it, but if you've ever worn that liquid lipsticks that start to peel, that inside piece as you're talking or eating anything, or if your tongue comes into contact with your lips, you can feel it kind of like pushing, like paint peeling. That's what it's like. These have remained pretty comfortable. Um, literally, I was trying to think for a while of what the formula reminds me of, and the fact that it just kind of like melts into your lips, it almost reminds me of the Lime Crime, because the Lime Crime do the same thing. Let me zoom in to show you. See how it's a little lighter? So how I'm gonna rank these is going to be determined on the kiss test and how they layer. So nothing's on the back of this hand. There is very faint pink on there. I mean, nothing really though. Now let me see how they layer. If you use a brush and you don't go on just like dainty like I normally do, if you use that brush and really kind of push it on those crusties, it kind of takes it off. Kind of takes them off and then puts them on the brush. You gotta wipe it off, but okay, that layered better than I was expecting with that peeling. Those of you keeping score, the list will be right here. I'm going to put these at number 10. I'm going to bump down the Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. Uh, this is gonna be in the green zone. I did see that in Canada and certain places, these are actually available at the drugstore, which that's awesome. You'll note that the smell of these I do not like at all. 
I mean, it's really disgusting. And uh, it's a little tricky because when I put it on my hand, you do have to let it completely set, which does take a little bit of time. Because if not, it smears places. It got all over my sheets from my hand. The reason these are above the Pretty Zombie is because I didn't experience really any transfer with these. And these have more everyday colors than the Pretty Zombie cosmetics that are more of funky, unique colors. I'm putting these below my colored rain because I didn't have the same kind of like peeling on the inside lip. So um, I can totally recommend these. I'm not gonna pick up any more of these though because I do not like the smell, that plasticky smell. And at this point I have a decent amount of brands above this that act offer colors in this selection, but by all means, if you were thinking of getting these, I think they're a good investment for the money. Um, just, again, be aware that these are a very different formula. You do have to put it on and let it set, and it does kind of melt into your lips, and it looks honestly like a stain. So I know a bunch of you guys were really curious about these. Um, why don't you let me know in the comment section down below whether you liked them or if you didn't like them, because I'm not sure. You guys didn't really say which way or the other. Um, one person did say I would hate these. They're not my favorite. Again, I have nine other brands above them that are better. While I'm on here with you guys, I'm going to try to remove it just because I am curious, since it is kind of like a stain, how it's gonna come off. Oh, it didn't stain my lips. I was really expecting it to be bright pink. Okay guys, so that's gonna do it for my liquid lipstick series um, until probably around or after Halloween because as you can see behind me, um, some of my tutorials are going to take me a couple days because I want to show you how I'm going to change some pieces I have and apply them. So it's going to take me a couple days to film some of those. I hope this review has been helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.